Hello, this is Ann Klingen, and I want to talk to you today about a common question that I get from online instructors. They often come to me with example of a video that they may have found on YouTube or Vimeo, and it's perfect. It just tells, says exactly what they want their students to know about this particular subject area. But when they've checked the captions, they discovered that they're not accessible for students with sensory disabilities. So let me show you an example of what I mean here on YouTube. When you look at the bottom, I've turned on the captioning so you can see whether or not the captions match what the actors are singing. Brush up your Shakespeare. Start quoting him now. Now, if you were a, a disabled person or a person with a hearing disability, do you think these captions would be helpful? I don't think so. And of course, as we all know, federal law requires that our captions be equivalent to the experience that a non-disabled person would have in the classroom. YouTube has an, a service called Auto Caption, which is currently in beta, and they're captioning service is about 65% accurate. Of course in this video that I just played for you I think it was more like 0%. But our goal for captions as educators needs to be 95 to 100% accurate. So what can you do in the case when you really want to use this video but yet you aren't in charge of the captions? We have a couple of options. You can actually work with a third party system or company to make the captions for you, or you can select to make the captions yourselves. Now, the best new software that I have found to make captions yourselves is a free web based system called Amara or Universal Subtitles. And here's a copy uh, of their website. And you see it's set up to be free and easy. It actually is a crowdsourced platform so you can work on other people so you can ask people to help you with creating captions. It's they, uh, you can create an account which is a good thing if you want to work on videos and save them and then come back to them but you can actually make videos or make captions without actually having an account. You just pop in the, your URL right here and hit the subtitle button. And they'll ask you a couple questions, but eventually you'll get to the editing screen. You see it here. And it's pretty basic layout. In the top left corner is where it will play the video. In the middle right is where you can select the speed of the video. I actually prefer the beginner mode where it will play four seconds of video, then pause the video, let you catch up, and you hit the tab button and you can then move on to the next four seconds. Then in the middle left is the box where you actually will be typing your captions. See, it looks very easy and I promise you it is. Let me show you an example of where I was actually listening to, vid to the video and typing the captions. You're Shakespeare and the women you will you see right here, all I did was hit the tab key and uh, typed in my captions and it paused. I hit enter when I wanted to go to a second line. So you will wow. Then I hit tab, starts the video again, and I start typing again. When you're finished typing all your captions, you'll go to the second step where you want to sync them. And this step, you just watch the video and check the captions. And every time it's you want to start the next the caption, you hit that down arrow key or the pink button on the screen, and it will start the captions for you again. It's very easy. Then the last step is where you actually and check your captions you versus what's happening on the screen. You can the see there, I noticed that my captioning wasn't appearing on the screen long enough. So I'm just grabbing the edge and pulling it to where it should disappear from the screen. And then I noticed that I had actually misspelled the word merchant. So I click on the caption, change the typing, uh, the spelling, and off I go. And then when you're complete, you click here on the done button and you submit your work to Amara. 
Mara will then give you our URL that you can share with others so they can see this video on the remote server, mine which is, is currently on YouTube, and your captions just as if it was a closed caption system. Here's an example of what the screen can look like. If you want to learn more about using Amara, I recommend that you go to their help page at support.amara.org. Hope everyone enjoyed learning about how to use this software, Amara, to easily create captions for videos and that you're ready to go out and caption now. Have a great day.